I mean, it is LA, so. What do we expect? If you guys saw my video a couple weeks back where I highlighted the fact that I'm always trying to shop more sustainably by thrifting, and that's not gonna stop anytime soon, but I do face some roadblocks as a mid-sized body, I thought I'd team up with my fun, positive, and supportive friend Macy to tackle a whole other beast in the sustainable world, and that is vintage shops. Here's how it all went down. I'm back with a very exciting guest again today, you guys. It's Hello, Macy from Blazed and Glaze. Welcome back to Blazed and Glaze. I want to do that for every video. So today, we're going to do a fun little video where we are going around some LA vintage shops together. And if you guys aren't familiar, Macy is like an extreme ally in the body positive community. It's like one of the things that we bonded over when we first met. And she just does such amazing work and is so inclusive on her channel. And so when I told her about this idea, she was like, bitch, yes, let's do it. So I'm going to be doing a video today where we go around a few LA vintage shops and I'm just gonna see what fits me honestly that's gonna be the goal I'm not doing this in a way that's like oh screw all these LA vintage shops it's just gonna be an experiment honestly I'm curious mm -hmm. because like as someone that's normally I go thrifting kind of in two different ways sometimes it's just for me as like a straight sized woman and then sometimes it is for like my closet sales and stuff where I do want to be inclusive and like find bigger sizes mm -hmm. and I'm honestly interested because I've never hit these stores specifically looking for anything mm -hmm. but my own size and like I'm kind of just like wondering what we're gonna find yeah what they have so we're just gonna pop around I'm gonna try a little bit of a different format today we're just gonna chill and hopefully like one thing fits me that's my goal I'd say a lot of these ones I know specifically since we're in Burbank are places that get a lot of things donated from studios to them mm -hmm. so like who knows how that's gonna play into sizing let's go on the list is Play Clothes Vintage here in Burbank. Gonna try to be as incognito as possible because they're kind of weird about filming here. So we're gonna see what we can find. Looks very fun so far. Let's go. We're looking at this pair of pants, which just hold up, by the way. And so we looked at the size and we're like, oh, well, I wonder what size that is. It's a size teen. Like, what is that exactly? Because um, I, I think teens are many different sizes. I mean, maybe <laughs> correct just me taking, if I'm wrong. Just taking some of their sizing notes from Brandy Melville. Yeah, probably. I mean, the last time I checked, I was like a size eight to ten when I was a teen. So, yikes. So, so cute, but way too small. We found a cat sweater with some bedazzlement in a size extra large, so I'm gonna try it on. <laughs> Meow. shorts overalls in a size large very interesting we'll see you guys this fitting room situation right now just look at this it's so crazy there's so many like mannequins and cool things in here like amazing <laughs> all right let's do it we're in the fitting room and we're gonna buy some clothes okay so no yeah, what's the No, list? and no. You won't be a Girl Scout camp counselor? Well, it adds an extra layer because my shirt is bunched yeah. up underneath right here, so that's really cute. Also, yeah, just no. I will not be your camp counselor this year, sorry. Bad, just very bad. Okay, onward. Second option I've put on here is like this, uh, <laughs> this USC. They claim like that these are a size large, which is my size, Honestly, and that is I not true. <laughs> no. The sweatshirt, maybe, but just as a whole, no. no, if it was just the sweatshirt, but it's like just the sweatshirt, it's not as special. Yeah, also these two together are $65, which is pretty steep, so it's a no from me. Questionable stain because of the, the, the place that it's at. Like, I just wonder what it's life this lived before she put it on. Yeah, a little too close. 
let's move on. This little cat sweater here is a size extra large. It fits and everything. It's like a cropped sleeve moment, which just isn't my thing. Or it's made for someone with incredibly short arms. So it does fit. It's just, it, it's like new looking, even though I know it's vintage. It just looks like it's from Walmart. So we actually found two of these and we feel like this could be a potential, like there's no size, there's no tag. It's just, this could maybe be a potential sisterhood of the traveling zebra print sweater with shoulder pads. Also Mary-Kate and Ashley circa 1996. Also this wasn't the right a hairstyle for this moment. Boobs. We're like I'm the zebra girls. We're like the knockoff cheetah, cheetah girls. We're the zebra girls. Zebra, 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 zebra girls. Zebra sisters. I feel like you don't have booby moments, but like that's a booby moment. It is, isn't it? Picture me in bike shorts, not in jeans. This is actually pretty cute. I think I might have to go home with her. I think that the color is really cute on you, and mm -hmm. I love the wine vibes. Well, we love it's wine. Like we love wine. Exactly. We love wine <laughs> the next store we have wandered over to. Ooh, she's just shimmying all shimmy day. All the time. <laughs> We're going to a place called It's a Wrap, and it's I think a place where they again it's like donated goods from TV, movies. The whole movies. entire store mm -hmm. is donated from productions around LA, and the tags on the clothes actually some of them will say what show it was from and what episode and like who wore it. Some will have like little numbers that like can tell you that. I don't know. It's it's an interesting spot. I bought one mini bag one time from here that was um, Jennifer Aniston's on Friends. Oh! It was a velvet decan wine mini bag, so. Wow, well there you go. So maybe I'll find a mini bag that will fit me, who knows. But we have seen a, quite a few people walking around here that are like very trendy. It looks like they're doing a vintage shopping day much like we are. So this, I think, is like the spot. This is the this area is the spot. where people. Like Melrose is where all like the tourists go and where people on YouTube try to make you think is the cool spot. This is the cool spot. We're in the cool spot. Let's see if something will fit me in the cool spot. these little signs above wherever it is that you're shopping that tells you where the show is that you're shopping from. So this one is from Hood Adjacent by James Davis. Here you go, big and tall, me. Me. So we found what's called the full size section of clothing and it's really not much, yeah. <laughs> much to choose from. Ooh, you see like a 2X right here. Here's what the full sizers have to choose from. Maternity. Even if you're not pregnant. You can just, can just be comfy in them. It's a sad section. Like they, they could do better. <laughs> they could. I mean it is LA, so. What do we expect? Looking grim, folks. I'm not really finding much of anything grim besides grim and slim. It's looking grim <laughs> and slim. I feel like I'm just becoming a little bit discouraged because of the lack of size availability. It's just making me want to give up, but we do have one place after this, so I'm hoping that this third place will come through with some goodies. I mean, I did buy one thing so far, but I mean, this is a standard experience in a thrifting or vintage shopping for someone who's in a mid-sized body like me, so I'm gonna keep on pressing on. I will say, as we're leaving, I would 100% get these pants if they were my size. They say Diva Thunder. I don't know what that is, but it's incredible. Too bad they're a size small. All right, and the last place on our stop for the day is Junk for Joy. These are all within like the same little block of each other. So I'm pretty sure this one was recommended by some of you guys. So we're gonna see what they have. So far looking very funky. Okay, so right when we walked in, right here, there's a section that says size 12 and up. How cool is that? I mean, it is a tiny little corner in the entire store, but it's something. So let's see what they have. was a great way to start this off. I genuinely feel like so much more welcomed and comfortable okay, here right. too. I feel like it's a different vibe. Yeah, I sometimes, and I don't know if this is just me, but like especially being like in a mid to plus size body, when I walk into like vintage shops or trendy shops in LA, I sometimes feel like I'm getting looked at. And it could just totally all be in my head, but you always have that kind of thought of like, is that person looking at me being like, you know you're not gonna fit in anything here. And I actually have like a ton of viewers who have said, people come up to them in stores and they're like, we don't carry your size okay, here. Well, you should be fired for that, first of all. <laughs> yeah, like, absolutely. 
absolutely disgusting. I think if you just haven't lived that experience, you might not think that's real, but like, it is. It's real. Mm -hmm. And I can already tell just like being with you that you feel more comfortable here than oh, there. Oh, totally. I obviously knew what to expect walking into a place that's primarily TV and movies because who that's in my size of a body is represented yeah, in TV and movies, you know. Yeah, trying to put in ugly clothes. Exactly. I feel like my mood has like totally taken a turn, even just having this one little section that just recognizes that size 12 and up people exist. I pretty gnarly. I was, I was pretty excited. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Too small, but really, really good. So is this one. Oh, these are so good. I really love that there's a section called capes. <laughs> Just a whole rack of capes. We've been having conversations all day, but now we're gonna just obviously like share some of the bits and pieces of those because what I wanna get across for these videos is just that you're not alone. If you're feeling the same way I am, it's not to complain. It's not because I expect to walk in a store and have everything fit me. It's not because I'm being negative. It's because this is a very real experience. But you I also through. shouldn't have to, and we'll obviously get to it in a second. You shouldn't have to like, be in that mentality like you shouldn't have to be like oh I'm just happy because I'm just happy for whatever they have for mm -hmm. me here like you shouldn't have to have that mentality for the record it's not dramatic it's real experiences I just feel like this whole thing is just because you haven't experienced it doesn't mean it's not real true very true and I mean I'm experiencing it on a very small scale like I'm still someone who can fit into like a size large or a size extra large yeah. whereas like plus sizing like size 16 and above there'd be no options mm -hmm. except for maybe a couple things at the last place to be fair the clothes that I saw in these stores today weren't even necessarily my style anyways but it was more just about the experience that a lot of people love going vintage shopping right and it's another sustainable way to shop but like I mentioned in my last video or a couple videos ago even though I'm still gonna continue to do it obviously as I'm doing today it's not as accessible for accessible. everybody because yeah. of the size options available so that's why i wanted to do this video i wanted to do kind of an investigation and see for myself i felt like we were like investigative journalism like we really were, we were like okay noted no we should have taken notes <laughs> no honestly. literally having a friend there to dance it off with and not worry about was really fun and we had a great time today for me i kind of feel like i probably in the future wouldn't even go like because i just don't even want to because put myself in that what? position yeah and i mean i did find my one Item, which I will show here. My Martha's Vineyard sweatshirt. Oh, this is where we, yeah. How much did I pay for this? Ten dollars, I think. It's just like you know a standard. I think it's cool. I really like but the it's berry color. Something you could find at a good one. And I do really love this kind of vintage looking Lee tag. Least, this is yeah, a good tag. Cool. I'm not trying to be like too preachy at you guys right now, but I will say that if you are like a straight size thin person watching this, just be like aware. I've been really educated on things and really opened my mind to other people's experiences over the past year, two years as I. I like went through my own eating disorder recovery, own kind of body image journey that is completely different. They're all valid, but I've got to say like, don't discount your friend's experiences. Um, don't be that person telling your friend that they're dramatic because or just they negative. don't think it's a fun time or like that they're just being negative. I mean, I realized right away that I could probably, I could try on anything in the store. So I just like want to say that's like my little tidbit of like being an ally, if you will, is like, just don't discount experiences. And we did finally find a section that said size 12 and up. It was the first thing I saw when I walked in and yeah. I was like, okay. And I do feel bad that I didn't try more stuff on, but honestly, none of this stuff was my style. And I just wasn't, even the stuff in the size 12 and up rack, at the last place that we went to it was, was still, I mean, it was, it was kookier it was jam. kookier but it was all still not my size like it was oversized and that is sort of why I started making these mid-size videos because when I went to the last place it was definitely more like plus size maybe size 16 and up which is outside of my size realm and then the other places were way too small it's so like it is not again here. I'm right in not the middle here. I'm yeah. always in between so there's we, not really like a uh, like a red ribbon to tie on top because honestly what this I feel like whole experience showed Carrie and I at least what we've been talking about is that there's just like a lot of work to be done. I will say as someone who is very interested in sustainability and sustainable clothing and sustainable fashion, you gotta 
lighten up on people a little bit because something that's so accessible to you is not so accessible to everyone. Does everyone go vintage shopping? No, of course not. There are many other options. It's just something that we wanted to dig deeper into and experiment with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out Macy's video. As I mentioned, it'll be linked down below. I love you guys so much. We will see you very soon. Bye. Peace.